Imagine that you turned out to be in a foreign country and imagine there is no internet, you don't have phone, you don't have translator and uh, you need to survive there. You don't have money, you don't have anything and you don't know the language that, uh, of this country. Imagine that you need to survive there, you need to work there, you need to build your personal life there, your friendships there, you need to start from the scratch and you don't know the language. Imagine that you're, let's say, 20 or 30 years old or 40 years old and you need to survive in this country. In this case, you would master this particular foreign language in weeks, literally in weeks or in months. It would take a really short period of time for you to master this foreign language. And the reason is that your subconscious mind would automatically assume that mastering this foreign language in this particular environment is critical to your survival, reproduction and your success in life. And so this effect can be created in your life right now. This particular effect can be created by a certain set of techniques like pre-testing, spacing, and uh, putting yourself in uncomfortable situations, using the whole bunch of techniques that basically prove it to your subconscious mind that this particular language is critical to your survival and reproduction. You're basically able to learn and to master much more information than other people much more information than other people. Like uh, studying in different environments uh, increases your memorization power by like 20 or 30%. Uh, going to different places, interacting pe with people in this language before you learn it, pre-testing yourself again increases the efficiency of learning. All those studies were already conducted by scientists, but still, because of the traditional school system, people just use the same techniques. People try to use some apps or just try to go, like, to go watch some video courses. And they learn vocabulary lists before creating a need for learning this particular vocabulary list. Let, let's say students on my program, before, like, before reading the vocabulary list, I make them listen to the text, I make them listen to the dialogue first, read the text, guess what this text and this dialogue is about, and only after that I give them this vocabulary list. You need to create the need for learning first. You need to create this hunger for learning the new vocabulary, new grammatical structures, and only after that, after you created this hunger, after you created this craving for new knowledge, after you created this question in your mind, only after that you're able, you're able to get an input, you're ready for input of information. Create the need for input first and then acquire this knowledge. Oh, but what, do, what does traditional system do? They give us vocabulary lists and just read, just memorize it, just cram it, just test yourself, just right from the start. And again, scientists did experiments, they divided students into two groups. The first group were giving a test before studying a material and the second group just studied the material in a normal way and then, and then basically took an exam. So the first group which were, which were pre-tested, which were given the test before studying a material, it did much better on the exam than the second group. So pre-testing proved to be so much more effective. Change your environment, pre-test yourself. Uh, there is a whole bunch of techniques how you can use a subconscious mind. What does spacing do? What does spacing do to our brain? What does learning a foreign language in the evening and in the morning D does to our brain. How does our subconscious mind work? Do you know that actually your subconscious mind relearns a foreign language while you sleep? Did you know that your subconscious mind relearns and reviews the material that you studied probably one hour ago? Did you know it? So there are subliminal effects that make us unique and some people can master foreign languages quicker not because they are talented but because they know a set of techniques. I'm pretty sure there are secret like um, Secret, probably secret service services of uh, many countries, they use those set of techniques to, let's say, teach their secret agents on how to master foreign languages quickly. And this is, I, I am pretty much sure, I don't have this information, but I'm pretty much sure that those set of techniques are based on how our subconscious mind works, based on subliminal effects, and basically based on those, uh, based on those principles that I shared you, with you in this video really vaguely. And uh, I would like to close up this video with the fact that uh, I want you to get rid of this thought that you need to be especially talented in acquiring foreign languages. I want you to get rid of this thought that, oh, I didn't start when I was 15 or I didn't start when I was 17, so that's why I can't learn a foreign language right now. I want you to get rid of those myths, those limiting beliefs, and I want you to think in a different way. I want you to think about how to hack the system 
and how to become an effective hyper learner. I want you to do it. If you're interested in my method, if you want to master Chinese, Korean or any other foreign language, click the link down below in the description of this video, register for a free consultation call with me, I'll share with you my system in detail, answer all of your questions if there are spots left, I register as early as possible because I already have so many people registered. I'm personally working with people from six countries right now. I'm personally teaching and organizing groups for learning Korean, Chinese, Spanish and other languages. And uh, in this video, I uh, decided to kind of, kind of open a new perspective for you on language learning. It's, it's not supposed to be boring. It's not supposed to take years. You can start speaking in a few months from now. You can get to conversational level. I hope that this video was motivating for you and as always, until next time.